have reached that point in time where the OTR pop quiz is ready for the Senate president. So here it is, Great. fresh <laughs> off the presses. You ready? N never 100% never. Never. ready, of course, of course go at are. it. <laughs> Question one, Beacon Hill was once three hills in the Shaman Peninsula. Two of them were leveled for development. Take a look at the screen. So uh, uh, one of these is not the name of one of the lost hills. Was, was Pemberton Hill, Mount Vernon Hill, or Baker Hill? Uh, Mount Vernon? I was going to say, don't overthink it. Mount Vernon? It's Baker Hill. Baker, okay. <laughs> Charlie Baker, okay. Question, <laughs> unless the current governor... too obvious. I know, that's, <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, we're going to stay on Beacon Hill. A street oh, near the State House is actually a tribute to three hills that we just mentioned. So which one is it? And the options are on the screen. Is it Park Street, is it Tremont Street, is it Joy Street? Uh, Joy. It's Tremont Street, which Tremont. is actually a form of Trimont, you know, Tri-3, which means three, obviously. So you're a graduate of Cornell. Sports teams there are known right now as the, as the Big Red right now. The mascot is a bear. So what's the bear's nickname? Touchdown. Touchdown. The nickname dates back to 1915 when a live bear actually was appear. I was not there. At, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> in Cornell football games. So we'll, we'll finish now at the State House. It's been a while, but you, can you name the last Republican to be the Massachusetts Senate president? Was it Holmes? Was it Coolidge? Or was it Allen? Coolidge. It was Newland Holmes, 57 and 58. Calvin Coolidge, of course, went on to become president of the United States, and Frank Allen before. served one term yeah. as governor. So there you go. You're off the hot okay. seat. She okay. did well. I she, she did, did very that. well. Yeah. Now, the House is on board for expanded sports betting. So is the governor. The Senate, not so much. Uh, where do you stand on this? Uh, I stand in discussing it with the senators. Uh, there's a lot of um, give and take going on right now. There are some senators that are in favor, some that are not. So I know uh, Ways and Means is looking at the bills, meeting with some senators. Right now, though, we are priority for, for right now. The ARPA funding, you've highlighted how important mm -hmm. it is that we get some of it out the door, uh, but we want to have that public transparent process. We are also working on a mental health reform bill. Uh, to, it's, we call it the Mental Health ABC Act, mm -hmm. uh, access to and barriers to care, uh, to expand parity and so, getting rid of the stigma. But, and we, we have a lot of things going on, but there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes to, to talk to the senators and we will continue to do that. So in terms of sports betting, New Hampshire has it, Rhode Island has it, looks like Connecticut does. Uh, so other states can collect taxes from this. I mean, are we missing an opportunity here in Massachusetts? Uh, the, av the average that I hear of taxes that we would get is between 20 and 30 million dollars, which is a significant amount. Uh, but uh, right now, again, we have five billion in ARPA funding. We have a, over a billion dollar state surplus from last year as well. So uh, we are trying to make sure that we use those funds wisely, and we have the redistricting as well that we're focusing on. There, there, so there's a lot going on, and sports betting is still being vetted. The, the, you, you mentioned, and you have mentioned this morning, mental health. I wanted to talk about this. We've seen significant progress mm -hmm. in mental health care in Massachusetts, but just take one look at the situation at Mass and Cass, uh, Mass Avenue and Malnia Cass Boulevard. We, we have, it tells you that Boston, it, it, particularly in that part of the city, we have far way to go. So how is you as a Senate president can, can move the football on this move this beyond from what we see here to what to what it's I'll use the word should be, but what it should be. You're, you're right. I mean, and we have to look at what it should be. What do we want the state of our mental health and addiction treatment to be? Uh, and Mass and Cass is, a, is, is not anywhere near that. Uh, it just is a great example, though, of how far we have to go with our mental health services, our social and emotional uh, services, our addiction centers, and how much we need to provide. Um, we need to, to deal with, with mass and CAS, and I think that uh, by having some sort of mental health reform, preventative up front is, is the primary way to go, but then having treatment on the, on the other end for 
the, whether it be mental health or mm -hmm. addiction, we need to be focused. And that is one thing that the Senate is hoping to spend some of the ARPA funding. Mm -hmm. I believe it is at a crisis as well, just like housing or climate or public health or, and many other areas, unfortunately. Madam President, it's great to have you with us. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Our thanks to the Senate President, Karen Spilka, for joining us on the record.